Hello and welcome to another behind the scenes look at the Forgotten Things process. My name is Lucy and I'm playing Lily, who's Toby's grandmother. When I first read the script I thought it was hilarious and also quite quite poignant. It's got quite a difficult ending and I think it will be interesting how the young people and the audiences take to that because it's a quite an unexpected ending. We sort of lure them in by making them laugh a lot and then drop quite a heavy bum on them at the end. So I was immediately intrigued and also Lily's just wonderful. She's she's inherently bonkers but she's intrinsically a very sad, quite a, quite a sad character. I think using comedy to deal with quite a serious subject is a very useful tool, especially for young people, because the last thing we want to feel is that we're preaching to them or we're sitting them down and giving them a talking to. Um, I think at the moment, especially in the news, it's quite a topical subject, uh, the suicide, and, um, and I think using comedy in that way allows young people to access it and become involved and drop their guard and invest in the story and invest in the characters and relate to um, on quite on a different level and then and then we are able to kind of get our message across so it is a very useful tool it's quite dark it's quite gothic the characters are quite larger than life um, it's not naturalistic in any way. As you can see, the makeup I have on today, uh, we're trying out. It's quite otherworldly, which is lovely because it allows you to experience the story without getting too involved and maybe objectively assess what the characters are doing. And it's also quite fairy tale which makes it quite dark. It's quite difficult as an actress playing Lily, especially because I'm 26 and she's in her 70s. Um, so immediately from the beginning it's, it was a challenge. But uh, the way Rod wants the character played is, as, as I mentioned before, non-naturalistic. So in no way am I trying to be in my 70s. I think the essence of her personality is she's quite young, she's quite youthful, she's quite childlike in the way she plays and sings. So hopefully I found a way of bringing that to the character without trying to be 70. There's no way I can pull that off. So for me it's about discovering what about her gives her her personality and and honing into that. Um, and then obviously physically, she I have to be aware of the fact that she couldn't move with as much agility as I can. So it's um, it's just climbing on and off things, moving through the space, which is different. But she's wearing I'm wearing a fat suit, so that will help a lot, uh, and a wig. Good question. Uh, who will identify with it most? I think, as a performer, as a company, we'd we'd want every audience member to identify with it. I think you know you wouldn't want to isolate anybody. I think the style of this year's show is very different to anything the company has done before, and I think we're obviously aiming it at a younger generation um, and sort of trying to tap into their fears and. and the things that interest them and move them. So um, our aim is to draw in the younger audience and hopefully with the right type of balance of humour and seriousness we, they will relate to us best. But you never want to exclude, unless it's a particular style of theatre like children's theatre. But I think, I think good theatre can move anyone. I don't think it necessarily has to be patronising and aimed at young people. I'm really looking forward to when we're, we're finally in production with the set and the lights because uh, the set is really complicated and exciting and has trap doors and, and, uh, and I love being on the road with the company. It's an exciting tour, we've got a mix of venues and, and youth centres and it's always quite a dynamic, interesting, never the same, never boring tour. So I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to get it up on its feet and get it out there and see what people say.